Hey folks, it's Jason here with the new project truck and we're going for our first drive. Let's go. So yeah, as you can see, we are getting some work done to our parking lot. We're just extending it back to our property line a little bit. So he's been making a little bit of a mess, but at the end of the day, we're gonna have more room for cars. So one thing that I'm gonna have to do with this truck in a real hurry is find a place to mount this camera because as it is right now, I don't have anything. So anyways, we've gotta go into town. I figured what an opportunity to take this thing for its maiden voyage. I just love how this thing starts. And the seatbelt buzzer works. That's cool. Seatbelt on for safety. Let's go for a So far we haven't really done much to the truck. We did get the brakes fixed up. We knew that uh, we uh, suspected that the master cylinder was bad, but before we spent the money, we went ahead and we bled the brakes. We wanted to make sure that we weren't spending money we didn't have to, seeing as how for the most part, or at least in the early goings, this is going to be a budget build kind of truck. So this is the third video in this series of the square body and we still don't have a name for it so guys if you think of a great name for this thing that might be a little bit unusual or something you haven't heard in a little while that might be a little fun for the channel go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below so we did bleed the brakes the problem did not get any better we tried blocking off the vacuum to the brake booster and the, that didn't fix the problem as a rule, it generally is quite difficult to make a video and do repairs at the same time because you got greasy hands and you're trying to do repairs. Not saying we're not going to be doing that with this truck, but this particular time it was kind of uh, a pain in the butt. I was tying up a bay in the shop and we had customers' vehicles, this and that. So the brakes are fixed. We're still going to get it up in the air in a future video and show you guys everything underneath the truck. So for now, I've got a couple errands to do in town. That's why I chose this truck, wanted to get that first drive underway, and uh, I'm glad that you guys could come along. So let's just enjoy it. Now something that I'm going to have to get used to when driving this truck is the amount of attention. It's not a Corvette, it's not a Camaro, it's not a Model T, it's not, it's, it's a square body. And everywhere I go, literally, somebody stops and wants to talk about the truck. I was just in my driveway and dropping off those parts out of the back of the tailgate, putting them in my garage. And one of the town crew that works for the town saw me pulling stuff out of my truck, popped in just to talk about it, take a look at it. It is an eye-catching car. It's not the most desirable color by no means, um, but it's a square body. And like I said in one of my previous videos, they have a cult following. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy it.
And there we have it guys, there is our first drive in the C10, the, the square body, the Chevy pickup, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited guys, I, I probably don't show it very well, but I am super excited. And before we end this video, let's take a look around the outside one more time. She purrs like a kitten. Before we go too far, guys, I don't know if you recognize this character or not. <laughs> I'm taking the keys. The keys uh, see, look. Oh, keys are out now. No fun. You can't steal it. But talk about the difference in a tiny cab compared to what they are today. Exactly. I have a, a 2018 Chevy. She's got loads of room. But, uh, yeah, I think how solid it is. <laughs> this one's a cruiser. Yeah. They haven't changed very much. Oh, she's a beauty. First impressions are she's a beauty, guys. I mean, she's a project. You get a little things here and there to do, but as far as a base to start from, it's a solid canvas. It is, yeah. Well, guys, it is Pastor Jonathan approved. Just <laughs> take note. Guys, if you like this content and you like what you see on the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.